Hey everyone, Colin once again, and welcome back to another trailer action. Um, now I'm now officially going to do my my give my thoughts on the on the on the official trailer of the upcoming long-awaited sequel, Jurassic World. Now, now like I said, I probably said this in my in my um when I did the video on the on the 15 second teaser trailer uh, video. It's still up, you know. Um, like I said, dress the, the the Jurassic Park franchise, the, especially the first Jurassic Park film, my all time favorite film. I love that film to death, you know. And then it came out, then came out, the, then it came to the sequel, which I, I did all. I did my reviews for all of the Jurassic Park films. They're still up. Um, the Lost World Jurassic Park. I I always love the sequel. I, like I said before, I don't get why a lot of people don't like the sequel. Don't, don't like the second one. Probably I do under I do understand where people are coming from, but for me I love the sequel. So I love the Lost World, and then came Jurassic Park three, which people may say that it's better than the number two, but and the other, some people are not pump some people some people are not fans of it, and some people are. And for those I'm still eating goldfish right now. Um, but, but I I still love Jurassic Park three. A good sequel, good sequel. Um, I thought it was another good sequel. Sam Neill comes back, you know, and the but it's better, you know, putting the Spinosaurus instead of the villain as the T Rex, you know. But and Joe Johnston is a really is a good director as well, you know. So even though even that film got got mixed um inter, got mixed reactions as well, you know. But then since and then after then since that was in two thousand one. Then, since then, there hasn't been. They were trying to. They're trying. They were trying to get a fourth film developed, you know. And it's been years and years, you know. And I, and, and I, to me personally, I want after since after Jurassic Park three, I wanted to see a fourth film, because you know, like I said, I go like said I love dino, I love dinosaurs, you know. I like I like other dinosaur films, you know, like the Carnosaur films or even the kids films. Like like I said, I did my whole. Review of the Land Before Time franchise, you know. I did a, I did a, my my reviews on the whole entire franchise series, and I've been and over the years I've been looking forward to seeing it, you know, when all the problems and the film being in development hell for so many years, you know. Well, then they came out this then this November they finally came out with a 15 second teaser, and I did it and I did a, a short uh, a video on that one, you know. And they said they were going to release the, the official trailer, like, during or after Thanksgiving, you know. Of course, once again, they came out early, you know. Probably some people are not are so impatient, you know, probably leak the trailer online again, you know. So they released it early, like, the day after the, the teaser came out, you know. So I, so after waiting for so many years for, for a fourth film, I finally got to watch it. And I'm getting my, getting my thoughts on it, you know. Um, now, getting into the, uh, well, the opening, now, I am looking forward, I am looking forward to seeing it, even though, I haven't given, I don't think there, I didn't describe, like, too many problems on, my, on the previous video I did for, the, my thoughts on the trailer for Age of Ultron, you know, Avengers Age of Ultron, I don't think there were, I don't think I discussed any problems, though, because, I don't know, but, now, you know, the first, here's the first problem, okay, now, of course, in the course in the the opening of the, of the trailer, you know, you have two kids. They're gonna they're gonna go to go to the theme park, you know. And their mom and the dad are saying goodbye to them, you know. They're you know, and the mom is played by Judy Greer, you know, who's been I love films. She's been, she's been in films like um like well, she was in the Carrie remake though, and that sucked. But all the films like Thirteen Going on Thirty and other films and such like um. I forget, but she's been a film. If you haven't seen, you know who she is. Look her up. She plays as a mom. You know, she's looking forward to seeing her kids. You know, see have have fun on this trip. You know, and she says, "It says you know, if you if you say something that's chasing you, run." You know. I was like, what, what kind of a, I think thinking to myself, what kind of a mom would, uh, what what kind of a mom would did say that? You know, if you see something that chase you, run. You know. If you th if you think they're gonna be they're gonna be in danger or running away from stuff, then don't make them go on there at all, you know. So, 
But that, 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 that was the first problem, but, um... I think that, I think that may have been the only problem I think I have with the trailer, but then, then it shows, um, the, a boat going back to Isla, Isla, the first film, Isla Nubar, found from the first film. And it's, and it's also, this, this film is set, like, 22 years after the first film, you know, so... So they get to the gates, they get to the gates, call the gate. They get to the gates entitled Jurassic World. Now, of course, people have said that that that's um oh the gates are CGI. I know, I am aware that the gates were were CGI. You know, well first I well first I didn't know. well first I didn't know but I first I didn't know but now I but now I do know the gates were CGI. I know that. I do know that now. But even though I'm, I'm always like always stating the obvious, what it would see, and what isn't, must have fooled me, you know. But um, now, and even, even, even though they said they, they said that, even though they said they do practical effects, before I saw the trailer, I saw I saw a lot of CGI dinosaurs though, and, uh, and for me, the most part, even though I'm always complaining about CGI and practical effects, you know, the CGI and the dinosaurs they look they didn't look that bad. Uh, I'm saying that right now. They didn't look that bad, you know, because um, you see like a car like from the, that was part of the 50 second teaser, teaser trailer. Um, you see a, like a safari truck, you know, in a field where gallimimuses are coming in, you know, are running, you know. And then you see like um, well, also like the first now looks like the first time now the park is now officially doing business, you know. <laughs> if I, after all these years, now the park they finally opened the park and now now we got tourists in the park, you know. A whole lot of tourists, you know. So, and then you see the two kids riding in this, what is it called, a gyro sphere. It's a vehicle. They're in this big sphere, you know, and they're riding next to a patasaurus, you know. And you see some tourists, they're riding in a, a river and a canoes, and they see some stegosauruses and more apatosauruses on the on the bank, you know. More fun activities, and then you just cut to, like, um, you know, like like you know, a place like in Sea World, you know, the arena and the water, you know. Then you see a then you see a <laughs> then you see a great white shark hang in, which you know is gonna let to be eaten, and up pups a giant a giant um aquatic uh, prehistoric monster, which is called a mosasaur, you know. I believe it's spelled M E S O and Sore, you know, mosasaur. Which which I say, Oh really that's a that's a that's a mosasaur, huh? Okay, cool. You know, I never sit there. Uh, also, the first time I say bring in a uh, a prehistoric a prehistoric water monster for the first time. Okay, <laughs> you see it pop up, just reach and open its mouth and poof, just grab eat eat the, eat the great white. You know, and everyone's all clapping and all getting wet. You know, like it's like a thing that's like a thing a thing of like at Sea World. You know, and then and then you had you get um I guess um who guess um one of the people who worked there, Bryce Dallas Howard, the daughter of director Ron Howard, you know. She's talking about, um, we've learned over this past decade, um, of genetics, you know, than more than digging up fossils, you know. And then you see, you know, the mosquito in the, um, in the, in the amber, you know, that stuff from the first film, you know. Which, of course, I, which, of course, but the people are, were making comparisons to the first film, you know, like, like you said, the Gallimimus running, you know, and then the mosquito, you know. And, um, well, and, uh, like, 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 comparing, like, uh, a boat to the helicopter going to the island, you know? Yeah, I do, I do, I do find that, of course, like, waking all these years, and this is what they could come up with, like, making some kind of copies from the first film, you know? But then it keep it, but, but anyway, keep on going. She said that she, they, they made a fit, the first time they made a hybrid. A, a new dinosaur, you know, and then you see, and then you see, um, introduced to Chris Pratt, you know, from, of course, the star of Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, um, he says, you just, go, you just went ahead and made a new dinosaur, probably not a good idea, you know, um, and then, and then they, he's talking, he's saying, look, look at this wall, has claw marks on it, saying, this wall is 40 feet high, do you think it could have, it could have climbed out, you know, and it depends, what kind of dinosaur? What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab? You know, and then you get this. Then you get the, like the piano. Slowly, the piano uh, pieces of of plane 
the original Jurassic Park theme, you know, da, 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 which I thought was a nice thing, you know. Always playing the always good to play the original music, you know. And Chris Russell evacuate the island. And then the, 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 him and Bryce Dallas Howard they're looking at one of the damaged, uh, broken up uh, gyrosphere vehicles and saying, "She's a highly intelligent animal." And you see a guy gets like a drop of blood on his hand. He's slowly looking up, which I've seen that guy before. Which really, I think, it, yeah, he was in the Fast and Furious. Uh, Tokyo Drift, as a character DK. Yeah. And I believe that, yeah, I believe that, I believe that was the guy, yeah, because, because I, I had to, I had to look it up, you know, and, yeah, that that really is him. The, the guy named Brian T, he was the guy, DK in, in Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, he's gonna appear coming back in the, in the sequel, Fast and Furious 7, so he's the guy who, like, gets a drop of blood on him, and he starts looking up, which, of course, indicates, I believe he looks like he's gonna die, because, you know, the typical thing in, like, you know, monster films, you see something, you know, when you slowly look up, then you see the monster snatch the person, you know. So it looks like the end game, he's got to die, you know, because he's slowly looking up with the blood, he's like... I'm just, I'm just saying, though, because it's, like, plainly obvious, you know. And then you see another per um, probably the same guy getting dragged away because of, because the, the guy, it's a, it's a daytime, you see, when the guy, the person getting dragged away, it's at nighttime, you know. Um... Then you see all the you're seeing everybody in the park running, you know, and you see the two kids run in. Bryce Dallas Howard saying run, and then you see one of the kids, the main kids, you know, looking at something as a shadow. So they are also or also before that you see Chris Pratt running from one of the which which is like the I think it's the I believe it's the high the new hybrid dinosaur. It's supposed to be called the D Rex, you know. As as he's running, you know. And then it shows the title and the slow um, the theme song, you know, the key playing like the piano, da, 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 da. and then you see Velociraptors running, and um, Chris Pratt on a motorcycle. You see the Velociraptors running alongside him, you know, which, which may have some people get which seen uh, people saying that they're confused on what's happening, why are they running with them, you know. Well, of course, they're thinking he's a guy. His character works with Velociraptors, so. It looks like he likes. It looks like he trained Velociraptors. Maybe that's why they're running. They're running alongside him because he trained Velociraptors. You know. So maybe maybe that maybe that's the that's the answer. Because I think that's like the best answer I can come up with. You know, because he works for Velociraptors and they're running alongside of him. You know, like they're like they're his master. You know. Maybe maybe that's probably like the main reason. Because if he works with Velociraptors, maybe he trained Velociraptors. You know. And so, now, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I am really, over, overall, even though like there's a couple of problems here and there, I am really excited to see it. After waiting all these years, you know, so from, especially after, you know, from, I absolutely love the franchise, you know, the first three films. Wait, maybe after waiting all this time, like I said before, they better make a damn good movie after maybe waiting almost 15, well, 14 years, because when it comes 2015, then... The last film was in 2001. It'll be 14 years, you know. So it better be good after waiting, making me wait for 14 years, you know, because I have a long way to see a fourth film. For a long, long time, I wanted to see a fourth film. And after seeing this trailer, I am I am excited to see it, you know. Other people saying, oh, well, yeah, the product has all the CGI, you know, and all this, you know, this and that. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know, but um, the CGI didn't uh, didn't look that bad, you know. Especially, you know, and plus, especially, especially after seeing seeing that after also I saw another new trailer, which was the new Terminator film Genesis or Genesis, you know. <laughs> I've seen the trailer. I will say right now, I I am not going to see Terminator Genesis. The trailer, the the film looked absolutely like shit. I'm saying that right now. I do not want to see that. Jurassic World, even though it's a, I, you know, it's a mix of the trailer, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. I would I'll already say that film already looks better than Terminator Genesis. I can see that right now. Because Terminator Three sucked, then Terminator Terminator Salvation that sucked. I don't want to see any more Terminator films. You know, 
I've never seen the Terminator, Sarah Connor, Chronicles, whatever, that that short TV show that was canceled also, like, for, like, 13 episodes. I, I'm not, I'm not, I have no interest in seeing it, especially, you know, the dumb, dumb things like, um, I was like, first, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's just too old to play the Terminator, you know, and the, um, the, the girl who's playing Sarah Connor, Sarah Connor, I think she was the, the, the show Game of Thrones, I didn't buy her playing a Sarah Connor, I didn't, just didn't buy her. So, yeah, I just, and especially especially the CGI that I think that worked looked even worse than the C, the CGI in Jurassic World. You know the the CGI on the dinosaurs is you know even the CGI on the dinosaurs from from the from the previous three Jurassic Park films I think they looked that bad. Especially from especially from the 1993, 1997, and 2001. You know they were they were, they were I think they were like really well done special effects. And even the CGI in, here in Jurassic World I think they were not that bad at all. You know because you got the works of by with Stan Winston, you know, his company, you know. And they said they're gonna put practical dinosaurs by it, even though I didn't see it in the trailer, there's still maybe a chance that I'll see it when I see the film, you know. But Terminator the Terminator Genesis, forget. I am not gonna see that. I will not see Terminator Genesis. I've I I, I, didn't, I never wanted to see another sequel. Not interested whatsoever. Seen the trailer to it that looked like absolute um absolute bull or dog shit, you know. I don't forget it. I don't wanna see that. But I will see, like I said, I will see Jurassic World is looks much better than that film, you know. And that's the uh, sequel that well that hasn't been made quite well. The last one was in 2009, so about six years gap between, you know. So so anyway, but anyway, that's my here. That's given my thoughts on the official trailer for Jurassic World overall. I am excited to see it though, even though some people all oh, I'm not care to see it, but. I've seen a lot of people's reactions on YouTube, you know, and they're all looking forward to seeing it, like, oh, shit, you know. <laughs> like, that, that, like that kind of reaction, you know. Um, I even um, I even watched the, the video that uh, Ram brought for life. His, he, he even gave, gave his thoughts on the Star Wars, Terminator, and Jurassic World trailers, you know. He said he may, he said that he's looking forward to seeing either of those films. Yeah, I, I do, I, I understand, and I do respect his opinion, you know. But um, over me, I'm looking forward to seeing Jurassic World, and it looks like it's going to be great, you know. But um, also, Terminator Genesis, forget Terminator Genesis, and I, even I also had that, that, that teaser for Star Wars, and didn't I didn't express any interest in it at all, at all, you know. Even though my even though my brother, he's like even my brother, he said he liked the the, the how the the, the red the red lights they had had like two sides coming out, and I'm like, whoop de doo you know. That the, the oh that's that should get you excited about seeing how the Elisa would have two sides coming on the side you know I don't know what what was the big deal you know I was never just seeing the this this new Star Wars film anyway I think it's just could we, could we just the franchise could have just left alone you know after the prequel the prequel film sucked you know the original the the better is is the original trilogy I don't know I'm I'm just getting off topic here though but. I don't go all over the place. I'm talking about the trailer. I'm talking about Terminator Genesis. I'm talking about Star Wars. You know, I don't know why. I don't know why I get off topic though. But this is when I see trailers that I'm not interested. Other trailers that I'm don't interested or don't give a crap about. That's why I talk about it now. But so I'm I'm done. This, I'm I'm just stopping right here. So once again, I'm looking forward to seeing Jurassic World. You know. And Chris Pratt, he, I like him, Guardians of the Galaxy, and it looks like he's gonna do be really good in this. So, so that's my review. For my give my thoughts on the trailer for Jurassic, the official trailer for Jurassic World coming out on June 12th. That's a couple of days after my birthday, you know. So, <laughs> I like what I like, especially films like this comes out during the near my birthday, you know, like how, like how to Train Your Dragon 2, you know, came out, and Madagascar 3 came out near the days of my birthday, you know. Don't believe that I like to like look forward to seeing on on the days that's near my birthday, you know. And so I'm looking forward to seeing Jurassic World, you know. So it comes out on June twelfth. Looking forward to seeing it overall. So So thanks for watching. Take care and stay tuned on on the next uh, movie review. So so whatever wait like say on whatever videos I'm I'll do next. More re reviews, updates and whatever. So thanks for watching, take care and stay tuned. See you later.